Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to be doing a physics problem using calculus, and we have the acceleration of a particle in the x direction described as negative 2 plus 3t, and we want to find the initial velocity, and we know that at t is equal to 4, the position is going to be equal to the position at time is equal to 0, and for b we want to find the velocity at t is equal to 4. So let's get started. Down here I've um, written down some important things for us to remember using calculus, and that is the relationship between acceleration and velocity and displacement, and also the fundamental theorem of calculus. We're going to be using these calculus um, concepts to answer this physics problem. So let's write down the problem. We know that acceleration in the x direction as a function of time is equal to negative 2 plus 3t. And using this right here, we can say that that's also equal to dv over dt, v being the velocity in the x direction. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply this dt over to the other side to isolate dv. So we've got negative 2 plus 3t all multiplied by dt is equal to dv. And then I'm going to integrate both sides, this side from t naught to t, and this side from v naught to v. This is the fundamental theorem of calculus. So integrating both sides, starting at the left, we're going to get negative 2t plus 3t squared over 2 using the power rule. Let's put our bounds from t naught to t is equal to v of our bounds, v, v naught. And for this case, our t naught is going to be 0. So plugging in our bounds, we're going to get negative 2t plus 3t squared all over 2 is equal to v minus v naught. Now what we want to do is we want to isolate this v. So I'm going to add this v naught over to the other side, and we're going to get v is equal to negative 2t plus 1.5t squared plus v naught. Okay, and then using this, where we have velocity is equal to dx over dt, we can put that here. Oops. Is equal to dx over dt. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did in the step before. I'm going to multiply this dt over to the other side to isolate this dx. So we've got negative 2t plus 1.5t squared plus v naught, all multiplied by dt, is equal to dx. And then we're going to integrate both sides. This from t naught to t, and this from x naught to x. All right, and in this case, t naught, once again, that's 0. So we're, got, we're going to integrate this side here. And we're going to integrate this side here, so it's going to look something like this. We're going to get negative 2 negative t squared, excuse me, plus 1.5 t to the third all over 3 plus v naught times time. Put in our bounds. 0 to t is equal to x with our bounds, x, x naught. And then plugging in our bounds, we're going to get negative t squared plus 0.5t to the third plus v naught times time is equal to x minus x naught. And then I'm going to take this x naught and add it over to the other side, and we're going to get something that looks like this. We're going to get negative t squared plus 0.5t to the third plus v naught times time plus x naught is equal to x. Now, Looking back at our problem, they tell us that 
we want to find the initial velocity where x at t is equal to 4 is equal to x of t is equal to 0. That x of t is equal to 0 is right here. That is x where t is equal to 0. So if at t equal to 4, t equal to 4, x at t equal to 4 is equal to x of 0, which x of 0 is right here, I can make the substitution where x is x naught when I plug in t is equal to 4 for t. So we've got negative 4 squared plus 0.5, 4 to the third plus v naught times 4 plus x naught is equal to x naught. Now if I subtract this x naught over or this x naught over, either way, these are going to cancel and those are gone away. So we're left with negative 4 squared plus 0.5 times 4 cubed plus v naught to the fourth is equal to 0. And now I'm going to isolate this v naught because that's what we want to solve for in part A. So using algebra, I've got v naught is equal to negative 4 squared, sorry, positive 4 squared minus 0.5 times 4 cubed all over 4. And that is going to give us an answer of negative 4 meters per second. Boom, that is part A. Part A. Done. Okay. Now that we know V naught at time is equal to 4, we can take the V naught here, we know it's equal to negative 4, and plug that in right there. Because we want to find velocity at time is equal to 4, and we know the initial velocity at time is equal to 4. So by plugging this, by plugging this, into here, and plugging in t is equal to 4 here, we can get the velocity. So I'm just going to take this part, put that right there. And we know that at t is equal to 4, v naught is equal to negative 4 meters per second. So let's make those substitutions. We know that v is equal to the velocity at t is equal to 4 is equal to negative 2 times 4 plus 1.5 4 squared minus 4 because we're plugging in negative 4 here. And that gives us the answer of v is equal to the velocity at t is equal to 4 is equal to 12 meters per second. That's B. And that's it for today's video. If this was helpful to you or you found it interesting, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're brand new and I'm hoping to grow this, so I appreciate all the help. Thanks.